the sound test room. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today, we're going to take a look at um, Monarch. So, okay, I was watching a, a, an interview with, um, in Reactor 6, sorry. Uh, I was watching an interview with Jean-Michel Jarre and he was saying how, how brilliant Monarch is and basically he'd rather use Monarch than the Voyager, than Moog Voyager. Um, and at, at that point he said he's not affiliated to anybody, although it wasn't an NI video kind of publication thing. Sort of thing, but anyway, but I actually believe him. You know, this guy is no point in life. What's the point? You know, uh, anyway, but he does sound incredibly rich. I'm gonna, this is completely dry at the moment, and then I, I will be applying some reverb and delay uh, shortly. But uh, we're just gonna listen to how meaty this sounds, and you can make up your own mind whether you think it's as, as good as a Moog. I know a lot of people think it is, but the filters are, are lovely, and we'll just play around and we'll listen to some presets and stuff. But it's completely dry. I'm just going to turn the mic down a little bit so you're not getting any ambience. I like the load as well. Like you can tube it out. I'd listen through headphones as well if I were you. So Monarch is, it comes with an absolute stack of, of presets you know you can just there's loads and loads and loads I particularly I'm gonna have a play with this uh, neon lead now this neon lead on its own is pretty pretty unphenom unphen phenomenal it's a nice sound but like all synths you know uh, mono synths uh, and classic synths back in their day they didn't have a stack of effects banged on them and you know and if you've got use I mean I'm gonna take some of that glide time you can use um, any effects you like on them and, and custom build your own effects. So, first of all, with this lead sound, I'm going to uh, put some of um, this this it, this in, um, which is a quantum leap spaces. Um, this here piano hall. Um, it's one of the best convolution reverbs in the world, um, I think. Um, but this is re recorded. I mean, it tells you exactly where it was recorded. It was recorded in their in their piano hall, basically in their, in Los Angeles. And it, it tells it, it explains it was recorded with Newman M forty five cartoid and then and, and all the rest of it. I'm not really bothered. But it's just the actual convolution. So if you've got this set up in a hall, uh, coming through monitors, this is the kind of nice warmth feeling you're going to get from the Monarch. 
particular patch. Rich depth. Be aware it is a mono synth, of course. I've got an 88 no keyboard so <clears throat> it's not like it used to be as well and also because it's a piano keyboard there's no modulation no modulation I have no access modulation wheel but I have to do this some more effects another obviously classic effect now we'll put we'll, pl we'll put replica in um i think it's hiding some little way let's, let's have a look at it i've got uh just the basic patch i think but i think what we'll do is we'll have uh, some vintage darkness loaded which would be more again like um your kind of uh, old style um delay and now it starts to you can you can feel the sound it starts to breathe you know Let's go around the classic. I like the classic stuff. <laughs> This is the kind of sound, isn't it? You wouldn't normally, it would, you could bypass the, the reverb and probably the, probably the replica too. Let's see if we can just um, change the preset to a more kind of what would be better. <laughs> Oscillator as well as that will act the oscillator through will act as your LFO. So if you're setting low, can we move it? Oh, 
hold it off. sound and that's a beautiful sound isn't it for bass if we turn if we turn the if we bypass the uh, the EQ, uh, the reverb excellent we're getting the, we're getting it too big off the replica as well aren't we so the dry sound the bass is lovely So you can really hear that now. That's gone qu a little bit quiet. So if I just whack the volume up, get the filter in. It's a great bass sound. Yeah, if, if you got a mod, a mod, a mod will be brilliant with this on so, uh, my piano. So. effects banks <laughs> loads of noise <laughs> if you take the feedback out we're gonna be left with that we need to put in some uh, keyboard tracking somewhere This is an interesting sound. Look at how low everything is and the octaves being dropped down. But if this is the kind of sound, if we start to I've like passed that one. Let's make it bigger. And if we switch replica on as well. But with a sound that's kind of a an echo, not a, not a wormhole. So let's see, you don't get loads of effects with uh, what's this clouds. Now definitely, 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 guys, you should 100% put your headphones on for this. <laughs> That's brilliant. So yeah, we have uh, leads, bases. Of, of course, the bases are going to be. Probably drop that down a little bit.
soften this sound up. The sounds brilliant, but this is it is. Something else. sound. I'm going to select a, um, a preset from here from, uh, let's see, maybe ambient synth, ambient speci uh, from sp specific. And let's just, uh, let's try pla planetary with the 10.8 milliseconds. And just let's see how that how that sounds with that sound because if if it's replica out as well so we've got no delay we're just hearing the uh, reverb oh, fantastic All right, guys. So there's a look at Monarch with the on its own the, the filters and stuff, and you know the tons of effects and things. How easy it is to program. Beautiful interface, interface, very straightforward, very clean, and it works. I mean, every single you touch a note, you know, you, you only need to touch, and it's very sensitive. It's very nice. Um, yeah, and then we tried it with a bit of uh, a bit of replica and some um, of the. Uh, the, the east west quantum leap spaces uh convolution reverb which is very nice very cool for real instruments but obviously sounds lovely with synths as well all right guys i uh, hope you've enjoyed this if you have uh, visit the channel um like the video subscribe to the sandtestream.com visit me and jacob we, we can try and help you out with different things if we possibly can and uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys later <laughs>